Hi, everyone. Welcome today to the Pace Studio in New York City. We are really, really fortunate today to be joined by two uh, blues greats, some, some of the great American musicians of our time and other times as well. Uh, Mr. Taj Mahal on the left, Kev Mo on our right. Guys, thank you so much for coming down and playing for us today. Pleasure. You're very welcome. You guys, uh, you guys have a collaborative album. It came out recently. It's called Taj Mo. Uh, very creative name. And uh, it's amazingly, as, as long as you guys have been playing uh, on your own over these years, this is your first collaboration. Uh, so we're really excited to hear what you guys are going are gonna to play for us today. So tell us a little bit. You're going to do a few songs. I think w maybe one or a couple from the new record. Uh, so tell us what the first one is going to be today. First one is going to be the Diamond Duck Blues. The record, yes. Is that that's a, an older, a traditional? It's a traditional. Yeah. Sleepy John Estes. It's yeah. a Sleepy John Estes tune. John Estes was one of my uh, favorite, uh, well, actually, was a fav our favorite uh, older bluesman from uh, in and around Tennessee, Memphis, outside of Brownsville, Tennessee. And uh, I just I just thought his, his music didn't get translated into the electric realm until 1967 when I did my first album and I took three of his songs and I transferred them into the electric uh, realm. Yeah. But still, the original way of playing his music is just as powerful as the, uh, the electric way. And so we've, uh, one of the things that we did in the midst of this album to make, to you know, get everybody's ears Correct it is like we played a, a basically acoustic version of the diving duck blues. All right, you guys are ready. Take it away. One, two, a one, a two, a three, a four. <laughs> whiskey and I was a diving duck oh if the real world whiskey I was a diving duck honey the real world whiskey I was a diving duck darling I would dive upon the bottom mama and I'd never come up the sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. Oh, yes, it will. Well, the sun's gonna shine my back door someday. Well, the sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. And the wind's gonna rise and blow my blues. Put your arms around me, pretty big mama Honey, like this circle around the sun Put your loving arms around me, baby Honey, like this circle around the sun Put your arms around me, baby This circle around the sun Oh, love me, love me, love me, love me Baby, till my cows come home Man, you got to do another.
sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. Well, the sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. You know, the sun's gonna shine on my back door someday. And the wind's gonna rise and blow my blue. You know, I love you pretty babe Don't care what in that world you do Yes I love you pretty babe Mama I don't care what in that world you do I love you pretty babe Don't care what in that world you do Honey When big daddy get home tonight He's gonna jump all over you If the real world was whiskey, I was a diving duck. If the real world was whiskey, I was a diving duck. If the real world was whiskey, I was a diving duck. Oh, I dive upon the bottom, baby, and I never come up. I dive upon the bottom, baby, and I never come up. I dive upon the bottom, baby, and I never come up. Thank you, guys. That was that was beautiful. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, this seems like such a, a natural pairing, uh, you two guys. Um, you know, over the years we've been enjoying your music so much, and you know, first Taj and then Keb a little bit later, and now for years, you know, you guys have sort of been circling around each other. It seems like. So at what point was it like uh, it became the natural thing to do for you guys to, to get together? You know, how did it how did it take so long? This is one <laughs> one question. <laughs> It didn't take that long. <laughs> no, not really. It didn't take that long. No, I mean, you know, not to do not to do this. I mean, both of us you know, you know, I I have I've had an, a long and a very active career of live performance, which a lot of people didn't do. They made records and waited for the cash to roll in and they hated to go on tour and you know, what the music is about is playing for people and what the original impetus for the African parent of this music is that the audience and the musicians are all a part of the performance. Yeah. And because the record companies could divide up, you know, well, it's a hit on vinyl, you know, and I mean, not this is not no, no bad thing about vinyl because I buy vinyl. I never stop playing my vinyl. I have vinyl, I buy vinyl now. But I'm just saying is that when the record business got involved in it, it separated everybody from the real experience of the music. And we're the kind of guys that were busy doing that live playing, so we didn't really have, you know, the opportunity to get together. But, you know, it was an idea that started a, a number of years ago just talking about it, saying, hey, well, let's, well, what can we do together? You were, you guys, were you guys close years years before all the all this started? Um, yeah, well, I mean, just through the music, for one, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, and, and uh, during, the, during the record process, we really came together. Yeah. I mean, we were kind of out circling around before. Yeah. When we started making the record, we found that we had way more in common than we even, even thought. Yeah. You know, so There's no way to Well, for fans of the music, it seems like, you know, this is sort of like a, a perfect pairing. You guys are, you know, you've been playing a kind of a blues that's infused with other styles of music, folk and world music. And, you know, uh, you guys are, are such like talents at similarly kind of styled music. So for fans of both of you guys, it's a great day to have both of you in, in the room yeah. at one time. And funny you should say that, because when, when initially, um, I, I never thought of doing a, 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 I mean, I thought it'd be great to do a project with Taj, but I always thought of him as a whole thing that I've been inspired by that didn't need to really come together. But when he said, hey, why don't we do something, I jumped up like a, like a schoolboy, saying, yeah, 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 of course, you know? Yeah. 
But I mean, I was, I wasn't. He had the vision really to, to do it. I was probably would have been too, too chicken and too scared. <laughs> <laughs> All about chickens. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I like chicken, chickens. So I'll do much respect to the chickens. Though. Yeah, well, me too. But you know, but that, you know, trepidation or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I was, I would, I would, but I, I I'm really, really happy that we did. Yeah, me know? too. Really. Yeah, but I mean, really I would sense. So like, you know, maybe on the outside it looks like a perfect pairing, but. You know, I never, I never was really trying to ever pair, right? Pair with anybody. You Me know? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Have, you guys, have you guys done like a, a duet, like each of you individually? Have you done like a, a duet, like you and one other person together on the road making records? This is the first time. Oh uh, yeah, I've done, I've done, I worked with Van Morrison, um, uh, Mitch Woods. I have worked with other people, you yeah. know, but you know, those are one-offs, not, right. not right. on no regular, no, no regular basis. Well, for me, it's 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 a, uh, you know, it's very exciting to uh, to see this music continue and that uh, you know what got started with me, you know, maybe 55 years ago, is now developing into a pretty interesting uh, forest of players, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know, Kevin's right at the top of it, and you know, for along the way, there's different points where I've been able to assist him in things that he's been doing and then once that gets started i just get out the way and let the man handle his business you know mm. and he does so this is what one of the things that came around here this is this makes it really uh you know all worthwhile to stay with these uh types of ideas you know yeah yeah cool so um tell us a little bit about the the next song you're gonna you're gonna do for us today um well, we're gonna do this song uh that I uh, co-wrote with uh, Colin Linden, and um, Colin Linden also a very, very. We're all big fans of Taj Mahal, so yeah. just. A, you know what's uh, funny? Song. You know what's funny about Colin? I remember him. He's from he's from Canada, right? From Toronto, yeah. Yeah, I used to see him at the Toronto Folk Festival. I reached him, I reached him my baby, yeah. to see him, and he would just have a guitar and be running around yeah. the festival and. Picking up licks here and there. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I didn't realize it was the same guy when he yeah. <laughs> he re, he uh, helped um, Jennifer Magnus do that that real good album she yeah. did the first one. He's kind of a he's kind of a, not kind of a, very much a blues virtuoso historian about all the, the old styles and things. So uh, we've become very close over the years. So, so we wrote this song. We want to play it because it's it's kind of like in a, in a Taj kind of it's, it's a continuation of what Taj started based on the. Uh, the old masters that he listened to and came through him. And so he, Taj became an old, not old, a young master. You know, younger, but you know, we watched Taj for his whole career. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is called Life is Beautiful. Let's go drifting through the trees Let's go sailing on the sea Let's go dancing on the jukebox floor And leave our troubles all behind Have a party so easily forgot All the most important things like melody in the moonlight in your eyes And a song that lasts forever and Keeps on getting better all the time Well, life is beautiful Life is wondrous And every star above is shining just Life is beautiful Oh, stormy night Somewhere in the world Sun is shining bright Well, I get crazy So afraid I might lose you 
One fine day and I'll be nothing Just a tired old man I don't want to be without you at the party So easily forgotten All the most important things Like I love you I do And I won't spend my days and nights Walking through this crazy world with you Well, life is beautiful Oh, life is wondrous And every star above is shining just for us Life is beautiful Oh, on a stormy night Somewhere in the world Sunshine bright. So I wanted to ask, you know, in the before the lap before that song, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the sort of the, almost like the evolution of the blues from before Taj to Taj's time in the '60s when it sort of got electrified uh, onto you know uh, Keb your your generation and, and beyond. It's, it's gone through a lot of a lot of trial and error, um, and I'm I. I think that you guys probably get asked a lot about sort of the fate of the blues and is it going to stick around. And my sense is as long as there's human emotion, there's going to be blues music. I'm kind of interested in the sound of it, you know. Blues has been a, a form that has been able to take on a lot of different styles and get infused with it, reggae, world music, folk music, all that kind of stuff. So now that we're in a whole new era of new kinds of music, a new generation of people making music, my question is, you know, can blues really absorb just about any kind of music and you can still be blues music? Or is there a kind of sound that once you get sort of outside of that, you start to call it something else? Do you know what I mean? Well, I think uh, there is, when you look at traditional blues and where it came from, when you get down to the really raw gut bucket thing that made everybody like it, I think there is a... There's a pocket. There's, there's a thing. Yeah. Like, like with uh, any form of music, there's certain things that identify the genre, but there's always flexibility in what you can do. With. You can go as far outside of it, and you can stay as far in it as you want to do. But I think as far as defining blues and the future and the fate of it, um, the blues is a very important music. It tends to like, you know, it's like the blues is like a, that scene in the movie when they've killed the villain. Yeah. And uh, right when, when they think it's all right, and the killer jumps up, jumps up, <laughs> but they don't kill him. He jumps up and he stays up. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, you know there's you know there's a there's a lot of blues players out there today, um, but I'm always thinking about you know there are, there are genres that pop up over the years that take on a lot of the characteristics of blues music and what they're talking about like their you know daily life songs 
political kind of strife songs, happy songs, you know, anything that like fits into that genre. But sometimes I wonder like, you know, is it kind of, you know, there are certain kinds of hip hop or even electronic music and could that, could that also be blues music, you know, in your, well, in your, in your at, opinion? At the end of the day, it's just art. It's all just art and music. Hey. It's just sound noise. Yeah. It's pretty noise, you know? So, you know, to try to define it and to try to like go like, what does it, does it steal this or steal that? Yeah. It just is what it is and everybody's going to interpret it and everyone's interpretation is exactly right. Right. You Do know, you guys find that your favorite, you know, the stuff that really moves you, still is the stuff that goes way back to the very beginning? No, it's all along. It's all I mean, along. The, the deep stuff, the, the, that, look, here's, here's something you have to really take into account. Number one, the music that most, the blues music that most people heard was from people who lived outside of the community of the musicians and the culture that was making it and thought about what was going to be commercial in the culture that they were trying to sell it to. Yeah. So there's a tremendous amount of music that didn't get placed into that little spotlight that said, this is commercial and we're going to hear more of that, okay? Yeah. And because of that, there is a reservoir of music back there that is so important to culture, but it didn't get translated. So, you know, you go into these Vaults, hello, vaults, yeah, yeah, vaults. Yeah. You know, and there are these lives, you know, on these tapes and and you know file cards saying so and so and so in 1938 recorded 11 sides and we only put out two. This one sold 3,000 and the rest of them didn't sell anything and we never released the other stuff. You know, uh, which God was it? Which God was being played there? You know what I mean? And so uh, this music is like, it has incredible resonance back then and it has incredible validity in every time and era that you will be on this planet from this point forward. Right. And that's just fact of business. And that's the way it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys got one more for us today here. Um, let me know uh, what it's going to be. Yeah, this is... Uh, one that uh, mi amigo <laughs> the classic yeah, one the undeniable the undeniable one that will go down in history from now into yeah the infinity this is mm. one yeah this is Karina Be 
Yeah, tell the world, honey, tell the world I do. Ain't a woman in 14 counties. Oh, love a baby daddy, baby daddy, the way you do. you guys both Thank so you. um man i can't believe that was three songs already so yep. you guys see the new album uh is tajmo congratulations on that um it's a great record and uh you know have a great time on the road with it all the dates i think are at tajmo.com people can uh find out where you guys are going to be yeah. yes they can yeah. yeah um and so you know Taj Mahal and Kevmo, thank you so much for uh, coming to Paste in New York today and, and playing for us. And it was a great honor. And come back anytime, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. And we'd like for uh, you know, our fans to know that this is an album that Kevmo and I produced ourselves. So we took the time to put the music where we wanted without any obstruction whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> 